Over at Fox Field with Eric and Nick, and it's been a terrific uh, first half. We're almost at the halfway point number of games played in the season. A number of rookies have had an impact. We thought we'd have you narrow down your top five, the way the voting would go. And you start at the f uh, five and work your way up, right? Well, I, I, I've got to preface this. There's okay. a ton of guys to choose from. And, and just because if they're not on the list, that doesn't mean they're not having great seasons. So Fair that's enough. my uh, okay. preamble here. All right, so you so got to give Alex Verdugo, okay. that's who I'm starting really? with. He's okay. number five, the outfielder for the Dodgers. Hitting over 300, had a couple of home runs the other day. But I think more than anything, what he does for this ball club, he adds something, a swagger that it doesn't really have or it didn't have. Kind of like you, Swish. Oh, okay. Seriously, oh, back in two, 2009 with the Yankees. I remember covering the Yankees. And, hey, Swish here on this ball club made an impact. You guys won a World Series. I think Alex Verdugo does a lot of the same Appreciate thing. Appreciate that, buddy. Thank yeah. you. He's Swag my, he's my five. Yeah. Okay. So, hey, but now we go to four. Austin Riley. Stud. Yes. He came up with the Braves and has just been power, power, power. 12 home runs coming into tonight. He's playing a position that he didn't play in the minor leagues. He was, he was a third baseman. And I think once he got in the lineup, Josh Donaldson started to go. The lineup started to go. And they started winning. I don't think it's any coincidence at all. Well, I I think, you know, just for him, just to come over to the Atlanta Braves and, like you're saying, play a position that he's not used to playing. I think that just goes to show, for him, you have to fight for at-bats over there. And for him, the way he pounds the ball from the right side, especially the right center, it's going to help that lineup for a long yep. time. Yeah, and he came up later than some of the other guys right, who started. Right. And he's already had that kind of impact. You want to hear number three, Chris? Yes, I, I know can. you're angry. Yeah, yeah, we're, we're ready. Right. We're ready. Any, Brandon any we're going to Tampa. Brandon Tampa. Lau. Okay. All right. So he's been at first base in the outfield, now predominantly at second base. But he is second in OPS for all the rookies behind the number one guy, who we'll get to. But he's done a great job. Just swings the bat, provides offense. And this isn't really an offensive ball club. But he's been a stalwart in the middle of that lineup. And this is why, again, coming into tonight – if the season were to end right now, they are a playoff team. He's been key. All right, we're going to get a pitcher now. We're going to a okay. pitcher. Pitchers are players, okay? <laughs> we're going to Atlanta. <laughs> Mike Soroka. He's been dynamite. I mean, forget the fact that he is having a great year for a rookie. I mean, he's in the top for Cy Young Award. I mean, he is okay. one of those baseball. guys that's in consideration. He's got eight wins. He is second in baseball in ERA behind only Ryu of the Dodgers. Batting average against just over 200. I mean, there are guys like Garrett Cole and Sale that, and even Max Scherzer that have higher batting averages against. He has been key for this Atlanta ball club. I mean, really, he is the ace of that staff. All right. Well, I know you've been waiting. Yes, I want to get number you want, one. You want to get to number one? So, yeah. We're going to do it. We're going to go right over to New York. We're going to go to the Mets. Peter Alonso. And I just, we just talked about how, you know, Soroka could be in the top for the Cy Young. This guy is in MVP conversation. Wow. 27 home runs. He's already set the Met rookie record. That was held by a pretty good guy. The straw man. Very good. Daryl Strawberry. Strawberry. He's looking at Mark McGuire's record and then Cody Bellinger's. I mean, those are all within his sights. He's been dynamite. I mean, the offense has been great. OPS coming into tonight of over 1,000. The home runs, the RBIs. I mean, we know what's been going on with the Mets this year. It's been everything but good baseball, he's been all good baseball. Well, like I said, with everything that's going on with the New York Mets, man, Pete Alonso, awesome. the polar bear, has been a shining, bright moment for them and something that's going to be around for a long time. I think we knew what he was capable of doing. Now we're being able to see it each and every day. Yep. And I know you had other guys, Paddock in San Diego and a Walker for Arizona who had another home run, outstanding rookies, but that's the top five. Hey, hey. Yes. Reynolds in Pittsburgh, and too. There's, there's another. Reynolds and in Pittsburgh. Next week, Eric's uh, top five uh, best food orders on Saturday when you're here to watch <laughs> baseball, MLB on FS1 and Fox. I can't, you know. That was great, man. That was really good. <laughs>